Hi, what's up, Charges? It's your girl, Janaya. And I'm Daniela. And we're back with another episode of WRSN. Next week is Thanksgiving, a holiday to feast with family and friends. But unfortunately, due to the current pandemic, things have changed a little bit this year. Let's go to Alina to see how they plan to celebrate for Thanksgiving. With Thanksgiving break right around the corner, many of us have already made plans, ranging from studying to eating with family. EOC retakes are taking place in early December when we come back from break, so many students are taking the week to study and prepare for the exams. Alexa! What can I do on Thanksgiving Day? In the United States, typical activities for Thanksgiving Day are the feast, giving thanks to family and friends, and watching the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade and watching American football. That's not what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to be shoving myself in the corner of a very, very, very dark room and studying for the biology EOC. So for this fall break, I plan to study because I have a lot of upcoming tests and quizzes themselves. Um, after the fall break is over and I plan to use AP Classroom because they have actually a lot of good videos, I just don't use them often. The ESC that I have to study for this year is unlike any other that I've tried to study for before because it is a class that I took last year and I need to look through all my notes from last year to study. Despite the stress of exams, plenty of our fellow Chargers are still finding the time in their schedules to enjoy the holiday and time with family. Hi, my name's Nora and for Thanksgiving, I plan on eating a lot of good food, catching up on sleep, and getting my wisdom teeth out. For Thanksgiving break this year, I plan on spending time with my family by probably making dessert for the feast or other foods, and we're also probably going to decorate the house for the upcoming holidays. This Thanksgiving, I'm looking forward to some time off from school to hang out with my friends and family. For Thanksgiving break, I don't really think that there's much to do besides staying home with my family and cooking a Thanksgiving dinner. No matter how you plan to spend your break, be sure to have a happy Thanksgiving holiday. This has been Alina reporting for WRSN, and now back to you. Wow, that's amazing. It's great to see what our fellow Chargers plan to do this Thanksgiving. Speaking of Thanksgiving, I'm really excited for break in general. Yeah, it's going to be really nice to relax and just have some time off. Let's take a look to see how some of our Chargers plan to spend their break. Over Thanksgiving break, I plan to spend time with friends and family. Over Thanksgiving break, I'm going to relax and spend time with family. Over Thanksgiving break, I'm going to be relaxing and spending time with my family. Over Thanksgiving break, I'm going to hang out at my house and spend time with my family. Over my Thanksgiving break, I'll spend time with family and friends and also enjoy time without doing school for a week. Over Thanksgiving break, I plan to relax and catch up on homework. Over Thanksgiving break, I plan on catching up on a lot of work that I haven't gotten done yet. And as everyone else is saying, I'm going to spend a lot of time with my family. I haven't been able to see them very much recently, so it'll be good. I know all of our busy chargers are definitely going to make most of the little time we have to relax. Next, Janai is going to show us what some of our teachers are thankful for. Hey guys, what am I thankful for? Uh, I'm thankful for all of you, thankful for my coworkers. I'm thankful for uh, just about everything that we have in this morning. We're alive, we get to wake up every day and that's pretty, pretty darn awesome. I hope everybody has a wonderful break and I hope that you get everything that you're thankful for. I'm very thankful for friends, family, and of course, libraries and good books. Make sure you read something for fun this week. Thanksgiving to me is being with family and enjoying good food. And even though I won't get to be with my family this year, I am thankful that I'll have good food and that we live in a world where we have the technology that we can virtually be together. So no matter how far apart we are, we can still be with family. I wish you and yours a happy break, stay healthy and happy Thanksgiving. I am thankful for a healthy life, great friends and supportive family. Hi, Ms. Pitten here. I'm thankful that I have still have a job, so I have an actual paid break to look forward to. I'm really thankful that I have students who have been helping me feel connected, as well as two colleagues that do the same. 
I'm really happy that I have three fur babies that keep me moving instead of sitting all the time. And I'm super happy I have family I live with so I can safely have Turkey Day with others. Stay safe, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Hey, this is Coach Clark. Um, just wanted to uh, take a minute and uh, uh, let everybody know what I'm thankful for this year. Uh, it's been quite a year, uh, but we have uh, a lot to be thankful for, I believe. Um, obviously, I have a wonderful family. A lot of you in the Suncoast community have met my, my wife, who's also a teacher, and my three children, Lily, um, who will be a ninth grader here next year. Um, my son, Cooper, Coop. Uh, he's 10 and uh, a lot of you know Cooper and then of course a lot of you know Gabe who's uh, five years old so I have to start with my immediate family um, and then of course my extended family I'm, I'm very very thankful for they're the most important thing in my life um, I also am very thankful um, to be part of the Suncoast family in every regard um, I am the head football coach here uh, I love everything about Suncoast football, the cheerleaders, the football players, the administration, the managers, my coaches, um, the parents, fans. I love everything about it. Um, so I'm very, very thankful that we've gotten to play some football games this year and we've um, got another game tomorrow. Um, other than that, I'm just thankful to be a part of the Suncoast community and uh, I wish everybody a very happy Thanksgiving and uh, be safe and uh, hopefully we'll see you in the second semester. Well, this Thanksgiving, I'm especially grateful for my family, but I also wanna give a shout out to all my hardworking geography students. I'm really thankful for you. You guys are doing amazing work, whether it's at home or at school, and we're all gonna get through this together. So I'm thankful for each and every one of you chargers. Have a great week off. Thanks to our staff at Suncoast for making this school year better. Now it's time for birthdays. Happy birthday, Chargers. Hope you have a great day. Today during lunch is Guitar Club. Join via the Google Classroom code J-E-E-R-G-G-5-5 or Classroom 33301 on campus. Meet students of all skills levels. Teach others how to play the guitar or learn yourself. Singers are also welcome to join. Hey, not a lot happening in the sports world right now, but this Saturday, the varsity football team will be playing against Dwyer at 10 o'clock a.m. Then, next Monday, they'll be entering the playoffs. Good luck, Chargers. Let's see what our senior and junior SGA team has been cooking this school year. Hi guys, I'm Madison Thomas. I'm a senior and I'm this year's student government president. Something that I really want um, to achieve this year is just a lot more student involvement. I want student government to plan the majority of activities that happen after school, and I want to make sure that we can get as many people to enjoy them as possible. I'm Mario Gomez. I'm in 12th grade, and I'm the current SGA first vice president. What we did last year was perfectly fine for me, and I wouldn't change a thing. Hello Chargers! My name is Anthony Perez and I'll be serving as your SGA Treasurer this year. This year I hope to work with my fellow officers in redefining the role of our class treasurers. Over the last few years we've been shifting from a cash-based payment method to a virtual payment method with school cash online and so I think the responsibilities of our tre class treasurers have to change as well. Hey guys, my name is Diva Dikari, I'm a junior and I'm the SGA second vice president. In years past, SGA members have held spirit weeks, dress up days, and events such as pep rallies. And my goal for this year is to increase participation for those events and dress up days across all grade levels. Hey everyone, my name is Morgan. I'm a senior and I'm SGA recording secretary. This year in SGA, I want to get more input from the student body through social media. Hi, my name is Jennifer Stein. I'm in 11th grade and my position is corresponding secretary. One thing that I would like to improve from past SGAs is communications from SGA to administration and students. Hey guys, it's me, Ben. I'm senior class president. Um, and this year in SGA, we're gonna completely revolutionize the whole thing. It's gonna be so much better and so much more inclusive for everybody. 
Hi, my name is Susan Castro Shell, and I'm the senior class vice president. And this year, I am most excited for us to be one of the most unique senior classes to ever graduate from Suncoast. Hi, my name is Shannon Malloy. I am the senior class secretary, and this year, I am most excited to make the best class shirts we've ever made. Hey guys, I'm Nalini Prasad, and I'm your senior class treasurer. And this year, we really want to get everyone super involved so we can have the best senior year possible. Great to see that our two SGA teams are still making their best effort for this school year. Now it's time for the November Chargers of the Month. Congratulations to Brett Stubbs. Brett has always been an innovative and energetic teacher. He never settles for good enough, instead putting in time required to make his lessons engaging and academically challenging. Brett is willing to share his lesson plans with others as well as help brainstorm ideas for new strategies and lessons. Thank you, Mr. Stubbs. The theme for November Charger of the Month is Thinker. These students work hard and help others across campus. Congratulations to Zachary Tisch. Zachary was tremendous help with the virtual open house this month. He edited all the videos that were used throughout the night. Congratulations to Juliette Fontaine. Juliette is a tremendous help in French class and works well with others. She helps Madame Morton find French songs to share in class and makes the class enjoyable for all. Thanks to all our Chargers for the month of November. Have a thankful break, Chargers. I'm Daniela. You know, Janae, you're reporting for WRC. Hold on, Chargers. You know we can leave you like that, right? Now introducing this week's episode of Field View. What's up, Chargers? It's your boy, Derek. We're back at it again with yet another episode of Field View. I know I'm kind of solo, but you know, it's all right. So today's question is, what is your favorite Thanksgiving dish to eat with your family on Thanksgiving? Let's get it. Uh, my favorite Thanksgiving dish is turkey, just because I like the traditional things for Thanksgiving. My favorite Thanksgiving dish is vegan egg salad because it slaps, it slaps. Okay, so I like mac and cheese because I like the crunch on the top and uh, like the oogly cheese. My favorite Thanksgiving dish is mashed potatoes because I like the texture of it and it tastes good. My favorite Thanksgiving dish is the marshmallows and sweet potatoes because I don't really eat the sweet potatoes, I just eat the marshmallows. My favorite Thanksgiving dish is mashed potatoes because like there's just potato stuff in Well this one's the hard one. My favorite Thanksgiving dish is lemon pie merengue pudding. Um it's very it's very textured and I really love it because my mom makes it and it's 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 really tasty. Um my favorite Thanksgiving dish is probably like some macaroni, baked macaroni. Because I like the crunch on the top. Because, like, I like cheese a lot, so. My favorite Thanksgiving food is yams because it's very sweet. My favorite Thanksgiving dish is mashed potatoes because my dad has a special recipe and they're really good. My favorite Thanksgiving dish is turkey because, especially when we're warm, make it because it's so delicious. My favorite Thanksgiving dish is probably mashed potatoes because my mom makes the best ones. My favorite dish for Thanksgiving is ajaka, which is a typical food of Venezuela that we eat during celebrations and um, feasts with other people. My favorite Thanksgiving food is turkey because my mom always makes it really good and it just tastes good. I just eat the marshmallows. 